quite high actually. Didn't realise how bloody high that was. Slippy, slippy, slippy. Slippy, slippy. So this is the River Mersey and the tide, as you can see, is just coming in. And that is bloody high. Have you ever walked along Otterspool Prom and wondered what this structure is? Well, no, it's not the remains of an offshore rig. This is the original 1984 landing stage for the Garden Festival. So basically when the Garden Festival was opened, they had a ferry service that ran from the pierhead right up here. I think it was twice a day. And you'd get off here, and there used to be gates here, you'd let you out, and you'd go up to the Garden Festival when it opened in 1984. So you know, today I thought I'd come down, because I didn't know what this used to be. And I've seen a picture today on Facebook and I'm blown away. Um, so today, we're just gonna take a little walk down and we're gonna see what this structure is all about. Right, so just let me set the scene. This is a bit of a dirt path, the main path into the garden festivals now was there. So I'm about to pull up in front of you now a picture from 1984, the Royal Iris docked at this jetty. Now, as you can see, the two green heart posts sticking up there, and you can see them just quite clearly in the picture as well. So this was the sort of entrance back then. It's all been overgrown now and stuff like that. So I'm going to take a walk down. I'm going to see if I can get on it because uh, I've picked a day to mooch this place, I tell you. It's quite a warm day. And as always around here, it is always friggin' busy. So I'm just going to hop over the gate while there's no one here. Uh, I'll just have to wait for couple of people to go past and um, there is a camera there actually I don't quite know what that camera's for on that lamppost am I getting watched or is it city watch I don't know uh, 14 cents a day is low tide so the tide is currently out um, let me see yeah there's no steps I did actually think there was steps going down there but there's not so as you can see the metal support there and then those two big massive green heart wood posts now incidentally the same wood that was used here was also used to build the jetty in princess landing stage and it's widely used to um, pretty much build piers and stuff like that very very strong wood very very durable with the owl water and um, this has stood the test of time since 1984 right it looks like a big party of people on the way down here so I'm gonna jump over this now. Um, you know what people are like. Ask them why I'm getting over there, so. And there's the other one as well, with the post just there. Now, it would be rude not to get over there, so just excuse me while I just throw my leg over and climb aboard this jetty. Or at least get close to it anyway. As you can see there, the two massive, massive beams. And there's one there. So there used to be a gate here quite a few years ago, but they've got rid of that now. So the ship would pull up here and then people would get off there. And uh, there's no sort of like, when I say that there's no real remains of it, it hasn't changed. It's not so much like a big, massive structure that over time they've took a few things away. It, it is sort of, it stayed as it is. It's quite high actually. Didn't realize how bloody high that was. Yeah, so I'm probably not gonna go on top of it. Although I don't know because I might do actually while I'm here, sod it. Yeah, sod it, I'm on, I'm on. As you can see there, I think are they sort of buffers? Are they? I don't know. That lovely green heart post there as well. And that is a bloody high. I don't know how well that's going to show up on camera, but Jesus Christ, that's high. 
remains of a motorbike as well. Some bricks. Yeah, happy days. So there was talk of this reopening as well because of that sudden grasslands thing that's opened. So, yeah, the ferry used to run, I think, twice a day. This was totally unusable, unusable, un unusable in low tide, as you can see. Um, it ran from the pier head up to the garden festival as well. So, some fellas just said it was for the sewage works there, but no, it's not, mate. It's confirmed um, oh, a jetty for the garden festival. something in the ground there some studs there's there's a few things remain like i mean i think the original gate was probably come up to about here there's all stuff in the floor there there's a couple of things there as well and there's the other post let's get as close to the cat there we go. Assuming this is going to be the same. Let's get on top anyway. This one's slightly more shaky. There's the buffers there. Or whatever they are, I don't know. Why has it got chains on? Did this, if it got it, did it move in? I don't know. There's another bike just there. You can actually just see in the water there. I'll put my finger as close to it as possible. But that is the remains of an original 1984 Garden Festival uh, post. It was part of the, the the prom. There's loads down on the uh, on the front by Otter's Pool. Yeah, Otter's Pool. Yeah, what's it called? The Britannia Pub. There's loads down there. But yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's well bolted in as well. It'd have to be. The usual graffiti on there as well. It's a shame none of it is from 1984, but never mind. I always get that weary going close to friggin' edges like this. Just get the camera around there, see if I can just get that. I actually thought there were some steps. It would have been nice to get down there, actually. But... Never mind. So there's only really one good way to see this. Now, I haven't had this out for ages. I know it's not what you're thinking. Let's get the drone out. Take to the skies. Right, um, do, 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 where are we here? Let's have a little look at uh, the wood in low tide. Do not like flying over water, but there it is there. Just creep that exposure down. So, as you can see, the wood has uh, stood the test of time. Let's go back around a bit. Let's go up a little bit. I haven't had this out for ages, so excuse some of me flying knock that exposure down let's actually get out the 
water. Sun's creeping through the clouds as well, so you'll have to excuse any exposure dips. So the ferry would come right along there and it would dock there. and get this done as quick as to go up, up and up and up. Let's get the gimbal down and take a look at it from the sky. That sun is a pain in the ass. Big havoc with the, the exposure. And there we can see. Get a closer look. A bit windy. The arm up here too. Not a problem. Right, let's. Hello. Air brake. So here's something strange I've just seen. I was just wrapping the video up, and I came across this <laughs> stick anchor. Don't know what the hell that means. If anyone knows what that means, please drop a comment below. It's made of uh, it's made of metal as well. Very strange. Another interesting thing I have just come across is a gas main. Look what it says on it. Landfill gas main. From when it used to be a landfill site. All of this. Right, so I've gone in search of some steps, and I found these beauties. So without further ado, let's hop over this nice little step here and have a look. Slippy, slippy, slippy. Slippy, slippy. Let's just spin that round. I just wanted to show you that. Look at that little where it goes like pure sandstone as well nicely carved out and again we have some some wood as well I reckon I can get all the way down here no problem I mean in all honesty I haven't got the correct footwear look at them They're practically brand new ooh nice I'm not going to go any further because it's it looks like it's thick mud. So this is the River Mersey and the tide, as you can see, is just coming in. Now I promise myself I'm not going to step foot on that. A, I have got the correct footwear. B, it's muddy as hell. And C, I am not getting caught out like last time. So when I nearly, nearly got caught out and drowned in the River Mersey. But yeah, I just wanted to come down here and show you this. There's some more wooden beams as well. But these look a little bit faded should we say but look at that absolutely fantastic you know you know, believe me I'm tempted I am tempted hey barnacles oh that would be just that would just be epic just to walk along there stairs full of seaweed as well some hooks on the walls as well presumably there used to be a rope back in the day so it acted as a banister you can just see all the way up there as well there's one there and there's one there yeah wow so this used to be well when I say this used to be something it did because behind me there is the old is it Herculaneum dock I keep forgetting the name of it massive massive dock before the garden festival was opened so 
this would have formed part of a probably a landing stage or jetty at some point as well with the hooks in the wall and stuff like that so yeah very interesting i don't think i've ever been down here before so yeah it's a quick look at that i'm gonna make my way up now hopefully i don't uh, scare anyone thinking i'm some sort of um mermaid should we say so wow just a quick look as well at these hooks they certainly have stood the test of time still solid absolutely fantastic you know what what things are left and what history is left in the city i mean just look at that what a day as well what a day to go mooching there's the obligatory bike in the water right i'm gonna uh, get out now because i heard someone up there I oh, know they've walked past. Oh no, there's someone here. There he is. <laughs> Looking at me. Ooh. Right, let's just have a look down here. So, as I said, it would have been good to walk along there, but tide's coming in and I refuse to get caught out again. Right, cheers for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video.